photography. It is the best phone if you want a professional great photographic capability. We are partners and uh, we both fans and uh, our partners. Uh, it's very so happy to see you here uh, because everyone is safe and healthy and uh, I really want to thank you everyone uh, to take time to be here with us. Uh, from your busy schedules to with is our latest model, our uh, X50 and the X50 Pro uh, the launch event. And before, uh, I want to uh, talk about uh, the latest uh, data from Vivo. And uh, I also want to, uh, because we already see the uh, virus T uh, 5G connected world coming. And uh, according to the shipment report from the catalyst uh, we made 21% uh, in, uh, in the mobile phones uh, market in Malaysia in Q1 of 2020 uh, from the uh, catalyst report and which makes Vivo become the number two uh, smartphone manufacturer in Malaysia and uh, with the equipment of 50% uh, on the year-on-year -year growth uh, compared to last year. That's the uh, latest uh, data about Vivo. And then, uh, since 5G, uh, since 2019, 5G has already become the most anticipated technology in the industry and uh, is an important way to evaluate our future. And then, as a global technology, uh, leader and uh, innovative people has already swift to develop and uh, uh, in the 5G technology uh, for many years and we want to provide the best uh, products uh, with the 5G technology. So uh, until now, Vivo also has been one of the top uh, manufacturers in the world about the 5G products. And then uh, we also uh, launched our uh, where, uh, wearable equipments just a few days ago, the TWS, Vivo uh, TWS Leo. Uh, we already, we also uh, exploring in the uh, wearable industry uh, for a long time. But this is our first model, and later we, are, we will launch more and more uh, products in the uh, wearable segment. And then uh, on the other side, about the uh, uh, market and branding. Uh, since we know that uh, collaboration between uh, different brands can help our uh, branding uh, be more valuable and uh, create more fine and unique experience for our users. So we will, uh, we, we, we will have more collaboration with our brand in the later times. Uh, for example, we will have a collaboration with the uh, National Geography and the DJI Malaysia and the uh, the alley and so on, and uh, as well as a uh, collaboration with uh, in the film industry with a uh, famous direct. Uh, besides that, uh, we will continue to provide the best uh, products and uh, with ultimate experience for our consumers. And uh, we 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 will remember all the support from our fans and our partners all the time. So. Uh, what we can do is to uh, continue to uh, strive in to provide the best product for everyone, and uh, we will make uh, Vivo make Vivo to be a better brand in Malaysia. We we are be more stronger, and uh, we hope that everyone can grow up with us in the late time. And hope everyone have a good afternoon. And hope everyone
Oh, isn't it amazing? So actually, Vivo, we have been um, developing, designing, and do a lot of innovation in our smartphone. So firstly, about the color. This time we do have the frost, the alpha gray. This alpha gray is really high class and gorgeous color. And this is only equipped in our X50 Pro smartphone. Secondly, we do have another color, which is the gradient classic um, glass black color. This is only equipped in our X50 smartphone. Mm. Lastly, the third color is the first blue. First blue is like a fresh color design. We do have the blue color, we do have the black color as well. Wow, so in total we have three colors. First one is the alpha gray, second one is the first blue, lastly we do have the glass black. And here I would like to mention, the alpha gray and first blue is in matte design. So it is really comfortable to hold, to view without any fingerprint on it. Alright, so we know that Vivo X series, we are focusing on body design since since long time ago. Since few generations before, we are focusing on the thickest, slimmest body design. And this time, we do. We still focusing on the design as well. So let's see. This is the traditional, traditional slim body design. But we would like to go further. So this time, our X50 series, we are proudly to announce that we are the thinnest slimmest 5G phone in this industry. So S50 smartphone is a 7.55 millimeters and 174.5 grams. So it is really light, really slim when you hold. What about S50 Pro? S50 Pro is light as well. So S50 Pro is a 8.04 millimeters as well as the weight is only 181.5 grams. So we can see that more wow, people had paid a lot of attention on the body design. And here I want to mention that our X50 Pro, our X50 Pro is using the boss, uh, the body curve, 55 degree of the body curve as well. So if you guys experience just now, you can see that X50 Pro is really comfortable to hold, really nice when we hold the phone because it fits on our palm. Alright, so after this, we are focusing on the packaging process as well. So this time, congratulations, we are using the COP packaging process and we are the narrowest, we have the narrowest, thinnest bezel, which means the chin, which means the chin in the industry. Alright, so how narrow it is? It is only 2.8 millimeters. So 8 millimeters, so compared to last time, Traditionally, we do have the COG, COF before, but this time we do have, we use the COP. So compared to traditional one, we do have the larger screen size, as well as wider screen to body ratio. Alright, so we do have a lot of innovation, development in our X50 series. Next, we would like to announce the big highlight of this X50 series which is our gimbal camera system. All right, so why would like to focus on this one? As we know, in 2020, this year we are focusing on the videography so much. We are focusing on TikTok, like YouTube, Facebook video, or Instagram stories. This is all about the videos. But the problem is, 70% of the photo, 70% of the videos, fell because of the shaking. So shaking is the big, big problem in our daily life. So we would like to solve this problem. How can we solve? Traditionally, we do have the giant stabilizer. As well as we have the DE, we have the handheld gimbal. But this is not really suitable and impossible for us to bring the giant stabilizer out with us in our daily life. So there is a question for all. Can we fit the gimbal? in our smartphone? The answer is yes. And thank you to our engineering team, we do. And we did insert the gimbal in our smartphone, in our X50 Pro. All right, so the gimbal, how to say the gimbal is a big eye. Look at this. Isn't it really cute? The little, little big eye in our camera. So this is the first time. We are the first one who did 
the gene goal in the phone. Alright, so in the world, in the industry, we never seen this before, but in people, yes, we did. Congratulations. Alright, so whenever we rotate the phone, the camera will always be in the center. This is the main point about the gimbal camera. Alright, so it will um, provide us to stabilize the clearer photos as well as the video. Alright, so how will it structure? How does it work actually? So this is the structure of the X50 gimbal camera system. Alright, so we have the double bow. Alright, we, we do have the double bow for us to maintain the rotation. So one of the bow leads to the gimbal. The other bow leads to the external structure. So that means whenever we turn around, the camera will always be in the center and do the stabilization works. Alright, so still we have to announce that we are the first one ever the first one and the only one gimbal, gimbal camera system in the smartphone industry. Alright, so next we will talk about the comparison. So look at the gimbal stabilization as well as the traditional OIS camera. Isn't it really obvious when we look at that? So we can see that the gimbal camera system, we do provide the stabilized and clearer picture and graphic. This is a really good job that Jingbo actually did. Alright, so go into depth. We can see that actually Jingbo did another great job because the traditional OIS, when we do the stabilization, it will only stabilize in two ways, either up on the up and downs or left and right. But our Jingbo, actually we can rotate freely 360 degrees. Alright, so this one, our gimbal can provide more stabilized and clear graphic as well as videos. Lastly, we would like to say that this one is really, really amazing. So let's see a video. This is the stabilization video by using gimbal camera system. So we have another question now. Since we can stabilize the video, can we stabilize the picture? This is the main point because normally if we do the videos, we do a lot of pictures as well. So we we'll like to say yes, people did it. So our S50 series, we do have the stabilization for the picture as well. So this function is called motion snapsuits. All right, motion snapsuits. So how it works? So normally when we do the spots. When we have a lot of movement, we need a stabilized picture like this. Alright, so let's see the comparison between our S50 Pro and the normal camera without this function. So we can see that the record here, the tennis record is actually blurry. But if we use our S50 Pro, S50 series motion sensor, the picture is really clear and sharp and contrast. Alright, so this is the comparison. So in our daily life, we do a lot of examples like when we capture our cute little kids, our travels, photos, or even in any move and moments. So we need this photography function. It's called motion snapshot. All right. So next, we will focus on other unique feature, which is called motion video. So motion video, how it works? It actually, we have the five axes for the rotation so that we can have more stable video as well as pictures. So when we look at this little goal, the graphic is really sharp as well as the video is stabilized. One more thing, do you realize this little goal will always be in the center? So we have another spe specification is called Smart Zoom. So can you see the comparison between the left-hand side and the right-hand side? Of course, the right-hand side will be more obvious. The graphic and everything will be more comfortable to view. Why? Because the little goal is in the middle. So we can focus. So this function, smart zoom, 
we can focus and check the main person that we would like to focus on. Alright, so this is only equipped in Vivo S50 series. Nobody has born this, this feature is called Smart Zoom. Alright, so now, since we can zoom the video, can we zoom the voice as well? Yes, we can. So we have the feature that is called 3D Sound Tracking. So this time, S50 series, we do have three microphones. Compared to last time, to traditional smartphone, we only have two microphones. But this time, we have three microphones so that we can zoom the voice as well. So let's see the example. Camera. 
Alright, next we still have another camera which is Vivo, really famous about this. This is called Super Wide Angle Camera. Lastly, we upgraded another camera, it's called Professional Portrait Camera. Alright, so we do have new functions. We have maintained the previous function. So this is the structure of the camera. We don't have the gimbal, we don't have the portrait, super wide angle, macro, and professional portrait. And lastly, we have a lot of functions. So all of the function is listed down here. So these are all of the units function. Include the gimbal, include the night mode, include the smart zoom, motion sensor as well. This is a professional gimbal. This is also a professional gimbal. This is also a professional gimbal. And this too. Only it can fit in a smartphone. Counteracts shaking by delivering mechanical motion compensation by electromagnetic induction. The sophisticated double wall suspension design needs a flexible 3D stabilization, so an X50 Pro always produces superb photos and stable videos. Feel free to take pictures while jogging at night. Superb clarity awaits, even around the edges. When there's so many lights at night fighting for attention. The AI segmentation algorithm helps every moment shot stand out. Background to bright. Simply balance it. Life goes somewhere darker. Perhaps under a starry sky. Or go to somewhere even darker than that. Good night. See you tomorrow. Other than a superb night camera, this jimbo has gross sports mode full of quality. So make use of this jimbo. Shoot whatever you like, whether you are standing still, moving around, and... Wait a second. You think it's all about the job? You also get a 360 degree photography system. The 60 times hyper zoom adds awesome clarity to already fantastic stability. Whether you are in range or not, the focus remains unwavering. Track and focus has never been easier. Can we really track anything? Yes, I will pay. Including you. X50 series. Wow. Thank you. So I think I can conclude that when we own X50 series, we own the whole world, isn't it? We have night mode, we have the gym mode, we have the smart zoom, we have the zoom for the voice as well. Wow, this camera is really amazing. So other than the photography function, let's talk about some of the hardware specification. Firstly, it's about the Super AMOLED display. So this time we still maintain, we still have the Super AMOLED display. But the brightness, we upgrade this to 1300 nits. As well as this time we do have 90 hertz for the refresh rate. So let's see some of the examples videos. So compared to 60 hertz, 90 hertz refresh rate, of course we do have smoother visual experience. Especially when we, when we do the gaming, when we socialize, when we watch the YouTube videos. Lastly, we do have the increment on the refresh and the response rate. So this time we do have 180 hertz for the response rate. That's mean when we play the games. When we play the PUBG, Mobile Legend, our response rate and overall performance had increased at least 50%. Alright, so next will be the flash charging as well. Because for the gamers, for the heavy user, we are focusing on this as well. So this time we are equipped with 33 watt flash charging 2.0. And then we do have the VEG as well. So VEG, we can see this as the protection of our power consumption. So this protection, we can save more battery capacity. And this is only equipped in our Vivo S50 series. Next will be the processor as well. So this one will upgrade our processor up to the Snapdragon 6 
seven on the seven six five G. All right. So this one we will talk about in detail later on. But this one, I like to say, this processor is really excellent for gaming, for socializing, as well as for our daily usage. All right. So next, our S fifty series. Both of our phones are five G smartphone, and five G we are using. And ASA and ASA role model. Alright, so why we are going to focus on 5G internet this time? Because everyone knows we do a lot of social media, we do a lot of gaming, we download a lot of apps. So that's why we like to focus 5G this time. That means we do have faster speed, faster download speed, as well as the overall performance. Next, we do have the 3D overall. Antenna as well. So this one, when we have the 3D overall antenna, no matter we hold the phone vertically or horizontally, we can receive more stable network connection. All right. So let's conclude. We have upgraded few of the specification, especially in our refresh rate, 90 hertz, response rate, 180 hertz. We have 5G. We do have the VEG. Protection as well. Lastly, we bring back the thing that we focus few times before, which is the Hi-Fi. All right, so we bring back the Hi-Fi chipset. So this time we are using AK four three double seven A. So this chipset, this chipset, will bring us amazing music and audio performance. All right, since Vivo is focusing on Hi-Fi, focusing on music. This time we would like to bring a new product, which is Vivo TWA's new True Wireless earphone. Transfer it, convert it to the treble as well. So this is really 
personal, personal and friendly music. Lastly, for the gamers, this is a really good use because we do focusing on the low latency as well. Because we like, we don't like to have the situation look like this. When we hear the video, when we look at the video, we don't want the audio is delayed. So that's why we are focusing on low latency as well. And this time we, we decrease the latency to 88 ms, which is the lowest, lowest in this earphone industry. Alright, so next me, our audio and our visual will be synchronized at the same time when we use the Vivo TWS Neo. Alright, so conclude again, we do have the high quality sound effects, we do have the um, stereo sound quality, as well as we're using the latest Bluetooth 5.2 version. And then our TWS Neo can be used up to 22.5 hours. And this is only priced at Ringy Malaysia 359 and it is launched in last week. So we will know that this earphone is a big market in Malaysia right now. Alright, so this is all about the new product TWS. Let us review the X50 series again. And this is all about the unique features about X50. Next, we do have the X50 Pro as well. So this is some of the unique features about X50 Pro. Alright, so that is all about the X50 series. G XOC that enable the two, I mean the uh, X50 series. Back in 2019, it has been a banning year for 5G. It is launching the fastest, faster than any previous G generation. At the MWC 2019, Qualcomm announced the industrial first integrated mobile platform with 5G. We were months away ahead of our competitors. And based on this announcement, we are poised to make 5G to reach billions worldwide. So on the Snapdragon 765, it is the first Snapdragon that has integrated 5G in one single chip. So any device powered by Snapdragon 765 will have both our AI engine and 5G connectivity. So let me take you a bit. Let me talk a bit about the, uh, the engine inside. <clears throat> so it is the world's first global integrated 5G platform. What it means is that the uh, uh, the modem and chips are together. It is our second generation 5G modem that is integrated into the SOC when our competitors are embarking on their first 5G modem. So what you see today is the first uh, uh, integrated 5G SOC. The only way to be a truly global is to support both sub-6 and millimeter wave. We are the only 5G provider to offer both in one SOC. So what you see in the industry today, they only support sub-6. 
but our, of our Falcon chipset, we support both millimeter wave and sub-6. Now the Snapdragon 765 with integrated 5G can achieve download speed of up to 3 gigabit per second. The Snapdragon X52 5G modem RF system support virtually any computation of spectrum band. Almost. 5G millimeter wave and sub-6 stand alone and not stand alone mode. TDD, FTD, spectrum sharing, LTE, and the legacy mode of 3G and 2G. This is designed to enable the OEMs like Vivo to bring blazing fast connected devices to global network in nearly all form factor. What these numbers and specifications amount to is that Qualcomm can deliver ultra low latency and amazing power efficiency and battery across key user experience that will be used 5G to become mind-blowing experience. <clears throat> the fifth generation Qualcomm AI engine. The Snapdragon 6, uh, 765 will debut our fifth generation Qualcomm AI engine. Faster, always on, more secure, and new experience powered by one device, AI. The fifth generation AI is comprised of our CPU, GPU, and VSP, and debuting for the first time in our next generation hexagon tensor accelerator with rest in our DSP. What you can see, it gives better efficiency in our performance. On the camera powered by 5G and IE, when it's combined together, the capture the capabilities on the Snapdragon 765 will be massive. And especially for computer vision, thanks to our computer, computer vision ISP, CD functions are done at 4x power saving compared to a solution without the CD ISP. On gaming, However, your game, gaming will be better on the 765. Thanks to 5G, AI, and other Qualcomm technology, Snapdragon 765 will make gaming faster, smarter, and will give you a better library of game to choose for. So a bit about that, we also introduced this Snapdragon 765G for our mobile gaming fanatic. As part of this selected, Elite Gaming Package, we are including support for the first time in the 700 tier, 10% GPU and 100 megahertz performance increase compared to Snapdragon 765. These are speed bit parts. 120 megahertz display of 100, uh, 1080p resolution. We are making the Adreno Command Center available for gamer to tweak gaming setting, setting and track GPU drivers. Cloud gaming is going to take off, thus having a robust, power-efficient 5G solution on board to truly make gaming mobile. Once in a while, when your battery level are low, you will have quick charge and quick charge AI charging intelligently and quickly for you. So this is all I have today. And thanks again to Vivo for the inviting me to come and speak. And congratulations on your launch of the next 50 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Vivo, for that eloquent presentation. I think Mr. Vivo's presentation has boosted our confidence in Vivo's expertise series ability to deliver high speed and smooth performance, especially during multitasking. Ladies and gentlemen, during Florence's presentation, she has mentioned many wonderful features, many wonderful new features, in fact, that the Vivo X50 series have that ensure professional great photographic capability. One of which is, of course, the camera camera system. Now, whether or not you are in motion, the pictures you take is always stable and also crystal clear. And the second one is the hyper zoom up to 60 times that enables you to take far away object in great details. And what's the next one? Anyone knows? Of course, no price in guessing. The next one is the extreme night vision. 
even when the lighting condition is less than ideal, the picture you take is still awesome. Now, we combine all this in next we will expertise series, the best point when it comes to photography. But how true is that? Seeing is believing. Hands up, we have invited Malaysia's renowned photographer to showcase to us some of his masterpieces that were taken using the WeWork X50 series. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome the one and the only photographer extraordinaire, Mr. Alan Tan. My name is Edwin. First of all, thanks uh, Vivo for inviting me on today's sharing. Um, well, myself, I myself is a wedding photographer and also the uh, ambassadors for Getty Image and iStocks. So during my job nature, I do uh, capture images using DSLR mirrors or even a uh, mobile phone when traveling. So um, during MCO, we, uh, when I was at home, nothing to do, right? So I tried to learn some new skill doing video. So I purchased a gimbal for DSLR. I have to say, uh, I really have to salute all the videographer. I cannot imagine how you can carry a gimbal, 3K, 3K plus for DSLR and carry the whole day. So this process is like very, uh, a lot of patience and time consuming. Well, a few days ago, um, I received uh, the Vivo X50 uh, during my job. So I carried this like a couple of hours before I went to uh, Malacca, the Air Famosa Resort. So I didn't even got the time to read the menu. So I just unboxed it and said, okay, let's use it, right? And see, this is this is over basically my first shots uh, that evening and the next day, a uh, handheld, uh, one time. I think probably second time, so then to run second time, that's it, carry with the Vivo. So this, Clips are directly out from a camera without uh, any editing. All right, let's look at next next uh, slides. Now, next day we have more challenge. Okay, look at these uh, clips, right? Uh, I actually was inside the buggy, and when one hand holding the steering, the other hand holding the camera, and start recording. So these two clips are using uh, one hand only, and the other hand like, driving the buggy. And you know, if, if you drive buggy before. You can imagine how bumpy it is. So the result is fantastic to me. I mean, uh, to a beginner user for video, this is good enough. All right. Then, um, one look at the next slides. Uh, okay. So I came back. Then I went to KLCC. I do a comparison with my Android phone and compare to this. So do you know? Take a guess. Which one is X50? Oh, yeah, wait until she run, then you can see. Yeah, wait, uh, I think it's quite long. Okay, then then she look at me and start running. So you can see the difference, right? So so this actually is quite convenient and very usable for my my clip, especially for stock video uh, submissions. All right, um, these are some of the image I capture. I use various mode in the camera itself, including super wide angle. This is super wide. This is a normal. Uh, Shots, then I have a super wide angle next slide. Super wide angle shots. Right, and I also utilize the portrait mode. So this is a portrait. So I tested a few uh, within the uh, cough course itself. Right, then I go super close up to focus on the hand on some detail shots. Okay, and you can see the vibrance of the color. So I didn't do any touch up uh, on this, this straight away direct from the camera. So. Next slide. So, uh, one thing that uh, Corus mentioned just now and about this phone is about the gimbal, right? So, besides the usage of um, stability, why well, I'm also using that uh, to capture. Now, this image, I doesn't use night mode. I go to pro mode and I use set up to ISO 100 and the shutter speed up to 106. Uh, for those who know, 106 per second is very, very slow shutter. But because of gimbal, I can manage to get this and with a better quality because it's only using ISO 100. So, you know, when you go to night mode, normally the ISO up to 1006 or 3002. But this is ISO 100. Then you can get better quality with a slower uh, shutter count. Shutter mode, not shutter count. <laughs> okay. 
Basically, this is my sharing because I only get to use this like a couple of days. Um, I hope to get to use all this more for my jobs and for my leisure as well. Thank you so much.